So T-Labs builds on the idea of Change Labs, where you have a process of co-designing solutions, getting people into a room that maybe usually don't meet each other, and have them co-design and co-produce solutions to specific problems. And this collaboration is, is facilitated, it's designed, and in the end we hope that we can produce some prototypes in form of policies, management plans or softwares that can be tested in, in reality. The Biosphere Code is a T-Lab exploring the role of algorithms and how algorithms are shaping our planet by influencing technologies and by influencing human behavior. So the goal of this T-Lab is to create a manifesto and present seven principles that would help guide the development of algorithms for a sustainable future. The value of the design process is that we know where we want to go and we just need to get all the ingredients to get there. The people, the team, the scenario, and we have that here, now. It was a very long process, many months of work, but it feels great and the energy is just right. An algorithm is a set of steps, each well-defined and precise, that are typically done to achieve a certain goal. Algorithms can be software, but they can also be in, uh, formal rules for society or practices in society. There used to only be a biosphere on planet Earth, but with the arrival of mankind, a whole new sphere is emerging, the technosphere. And in this technosphere, algorithms are doing all kinds of stuff. It's wonderful, but we need to also connect them to the biosphere, because in the end it's, it's one whole planet. And I think this is the most important task for humanity today, to connect these algorithms in the technosphere with the existing biosphere. From my perspective, I believe that algorithms are important uh, for the future of humanity because they will enable uh, informal networks of individuals across the world to use resources more efficiently and actually more effectively, developing new forms of value creation. What happens when tech geeks and sustainability nerds uh, meet is a wonderful synergy. Uh, technologies try to construct new things. While many people in sustainability observe the world, so now we can both observe what the technology leads to and try to construct technologies that are creating sustainability. These prototypes, hopefully then, can help us produce solutions that can benefit people and the planet to fundamentally change human environmental interactions and make a difference at scales that matters in this global context.